What's happening everybody? Boy Big Brando and today let's talk about label printers. Now, as most of you guys know, I use the Dymo Label Rider 4XL label printer. It's a thermal printer. That's how I print out all my shipping labels. Now, with that being said, is a label printer actually needed to run your business? And the short answer is no. You actually don't need to buy a label printer. But you're probably thinking, well, how am I supposed to get the shipping label onto my packages? I see everybody else on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram using these thermal printers to print out their shipping labels. So I feel like I need one. Well, let's talk about some options where you don't need to buy a thermal printer. And when I say thermal printer, I'm talking about these label printers. Thermal printers just saying you don't need to replace no ink cartridge because it's thermal printing the shipping label for you. So you just load up the labels, print out the shipping label, peel it up, stick it on your package, send it out. So let's talk about some options where you don't need to buy an actual label printer. First things first, if you have a desktop printer, inkjet, laser, whatever it is, if you have a printer at home already, you could use that to print out your shipping labels. So if you still wanted to use labels, like the actual sticker labels, you could go on Amazon and look up Avery shipping labels. They come in an eight and a half sheet and there's two labels per sheet. So you load that into your regular desktop printer, print out your shipping label and it'll print it out onto this shipping label. Now you could peel that up, slap that on your package and then you still have another label on the other side of the page. So each page you get two labels out of it. So once again, go to Amazon, look up Avery shipping label. The ones you want are the eight and a half by 11. That's the standard size paper that you feed into your desktop printer. Now let's say you didn't want to buy those labels. You could send a regular eight and a half by 11 piece of paper through your printer, print out your label for you. All the shipping stuff will be printed onto that piece of paper. You could take some scissors, cut that paper in half, or you could just fold that piece of paper in half. Tape it to your package. That's all. Your customer's not gonna think any less of you because you put a paper label onto your package. Your customer's not even gonna care because your customer didn't buy the shipping label. The customer bought the contents inside the package hat, t-shirt, whatever it is, whatever you're selling, that's what they're paying for. They're not paying for the sticker label or a piece of paper label, anything that has to do with shipping. So remember, your customer's not gonna think any less of you. If you just taped a piece of paper to that package with all the shipping information on there, boom, easy call. Now let's say that you didn't wanna tape a piece of paper to your package. You could go on Amazon and look up these clear windows. You might see UPS and FedEx using them. Now it's like a clear window that you stick onto the package and then you slide a piece of paper in there. Usually the invoice goes in there or the shipping contents or whatever it is goes inside there. Go on Amazon, look up shipping windows clear shipping windows i think that's what it's called you get like a pack of 100 of them one side sticky back the other side has like a fold over flap so you slide your piece of paper inside that window fold the flap over stick it onto your package good to go problem solved so these are just some options if you didn't want to buy a thermal label printer these things go from like 150 bucks to like 300 400 dollars something like that if you wanted to buy the same label printer that i use and the refills and the labels that i use check the link in the description box there's an amazon link there that has all the shipping stuff that i use it's on there a roll of labels the label printer i got everything on there from poly mailers to boxes all kind of stuff in that link but let's talk about the benefits of having a label printer Let's say that you're shipping a ton of stuff out. It's easy to batch stuff out and just let the label printer print out and just let that sucker run. It doesn't take any ink, which is cool, so there's no consumables attached to it. But once again, that's all it's doing is just printing out your shipping labels. Now, there are some people out there that found different ways of getting free labels. I guess you could get free four by six labels through different ways. I don't know any of those ways. I've seen people talk about it on Instagram and TikTok and stuff like that. I've never done it myself. I just pay for a roll. I think it's like 250, 300 labels on a roll. And you could buy like a six pack of those rolls off of Amazon and it's pretty cheap. But like I said, if you're trying to cut corners and, and cut costs down there are ways of getting free ones i don't know how it is i think people even said you could contact ups or certain places and get a free label printer i don't know nothing about that so if you are looking for that information you're gonna have to google it because i know nothing about it like i said i seen it on TikTok and I've seen it on Instagram before and I've seen people talking about it. I've never done it personally. Like I said, I just bought 
the Dymo label writer. That's the printer I use, and I buy my labels. Convenience-wise, it's really cool to have the label printer. It just you print it out, slap it on. But is it really needed? It's really not needed. Like I said, if you have a desktop printer, that thing will print out your shipping labels for you. You could go the Avery route and buy the sticker paper, and like I said, it comes with two labels on each page. You can send that straight through your desktop printer, print out your shipping labels, stick it on the package, or just use regular paper. Send that paper through there. It'll print out all the information needed the barcode everything needed you could cut that in half fold it up tape it onto the box or get those clear windows and stick it inside there so hopefully this helps somebody out out there I know there's a lot of people that were in my comments asking about label printers and debating if they should get one what's the cheapest one to get what's the best one to get remember your customer isn't paying for the shipping label they're paying for your t-shirt or your hat or the hoodie or whatever's inside the package so if you're torn between if a label printer is gonna make your brand look more legit, don't even worry about that. Focus more on making the sale. Who cares about what the label looks like when you slap it onto the package? Whether it's a piece of paper, whether it was printed from a thermal printer, whether it was printed on Avery paper, whatever. It doesn't matter. It matters, all right? So if you were on the fence about picking up a label printer, let me know in the comments. If you own the same one I do, or if you own a different one, or if you have info on how people can get free label printers and the labels and stuff like that, leave it in the comments, help somebody out. All right, follow me on Instagram, BigBrandoTV. Catch you guys on the next one, man, yeah.